But it's your boy Billy Clint coming back with another video. And uh, I don't know, I got a weird text message this morning telling me that a friend of mine had passed away, but the way it came off was. I don't know. I can honestly say I'm tired, man. Just in the last few years, I've had so many losses. Like, I can't even look up. Like, honestly, I can't even look up. I try to smile every day, but it's just getting harder and harder. And I'm running out of options, man. Just, I don't know what to do no more. But I ain't gonna talk y'all to death. I know y'all came to see cars, and uh, I gotta change the alternator for the third alternator I'm putting on this car in about 14, 15 months. Now I probably should be learning a lesson. It's, is it something killing the alternators? I don't know. I mean, it wasn't the original alternator on here. And then I put another one on here and it went out probably within a month. And then 12 months and 10 days later, Another one went out. And that's where I'm at today. I'm telling you, I really, really don't feel like this, man. But part of being an adult is getting things done, whether you want to or not, because they got to get done, so. Now, usually I can bury myself inside of a car to keep my mind off things, but folks, I don't know if it's going to work this time. Like, I just don't know if it's going to work this time. But I got to at least try, though, but if y'all know my story, y'all know I'm a single parent, man. My, I lost my girl in the car wreck, man, and I just keep thinking about that little baby, man. So if you know, this is one of my 1986 Corvettes. This is the 86 manual. And uh, yes, that alternator looks a little fresh on it. It's because it is, was, now it's useless. Look, still got a sticker on it. Still got numbers on it. Brand new plug on it. It's because when I bought it, I said the wrong alternator, no plug, and this darn show was different. And as you see, this wasn't the right bracket. It was a whole different bracket. I bought this bracket but did not know that the 85 and 86 was different, so. So I do have to change that. Do I think that that's playing a part in the alternator? I sure don't. But let's get to it. I decided to do a little bit of experimentation. So, for y'all that don't know, this is my other 86 curb it and I think I'm gonna take the alternator off of this one and see what it do on that one just for S and G remember when cars used to be so easy to work on I promise y'all it ain't been 300 seconds and it's off already I bet you this one even be harder It'd take me longer trying to set up the darn camera than it would to get this off. 
But I guess for my own health, I probably should just set the camera. So let's see what I can come up with. Damn, that's pretty perfect. It's your boy Billy Clint. People always wonder, what the heck you do? What the heck you do? Well, guess what? Y'all about to see exactly what I do for a living. You see this? It's a washing machine. And it has a wee bit of issue. Whoop. I already started taking it apart, but I'm sorry. But once you cut the water on, water flows in here. Whether the washing machine is on and off. So, we got to stop that. So, I'm not going to give y'all all the details to the sauce. But I'm going to let y'all know halfway through when I show you what the problem is. And then I'll let you know when I'm done. Thank you. Okay, my YouTubers. Here we go right here. This is your water pump. You hook your hot and cold lines and see them two solenoids to pump water. 
to put water in and load up to your washing machine. Well, when one of them go out, it don't stop the water and it keep flowing. So we gonna change this and see what we get. Get back with you, thank you. This is what happens when you don't have city water. We have well water. And, um, yep. So that's iron. We usually drink bottled water, but this is the water we have. I live here too. So that's what we deal with. So it probably was a iron and calcium buildup. These are called dogs, and they are destroyed. They goes inside the agitator. It's what makes the agitator turn and retract. So I got some at the shop. I got to go get them and all of it back. Boom, I'm back. I look crazy, don't I? Oh, well, it is what it is. How it is, that's how it go. But, uh... I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna jack the back end up and see if I can get the exhaust. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that one first. And then when I get done with that, I'll call and see if the brake made it in. And if the brake made it in, maybe I can find a rebuild kit for that brake. I don't know. Mm -mm. But, yeah, so let me get this jacked up. What up, folks? You know I gotta do this because I got all this darn hair. This is what happens when you gotta get on the ground. I could have took this off, but nah. Well, I gotta jump it because I ain't drove it. That's what happens when you got a million cars. But I'm gonna get back to this, see? So, what I did her was I actually kind of installed to a small see they cut the converters so I came up with something we ain't got there yet when we get there we'll worry about it then O2 sensors when we get there we'll worry about that too but we gotta get back to this I don't think they should be hanging this low below the surface so we gotta get them up alright so let me get back with y'all it for that and that was a long time of crap but it's all good though that's gonna be a little quick video i'll holler at y'all later peace